Uh, hey everyone, so let me introduce myself. I'm Ismail, um, also known as Makosh. I'm, I've been working as a front-end developer at a company called Obite for the last two years and four months to be precise. I make web and mobile apps on the side. So uh, the, the reason I made this video is to talk about beef and uh, why I'm shut it in and I decided to, to shut it down. So what is Beef? Beef is a community platform for making decisions. For example, you want to get an iPhone 10 or a Pixel 3 and you're not sure which one to get. You can post a picture of, of the two of the phones and people can vote which one you sh should you get. Or for example, you, you don't know which professional career to take. People can help you decide that. That's basically the idea behind it. So. Two years ago, I built this prototype. It's simple. You, you see two pictures and you can vote which one you like. That's that's basically the, the main idea. So, in the last year, I built the whole platform in less than 24 hours. I, I, did, I didn't sleep that night and I live streamed the whole process. I will leave a link in the description for those who are interested. So, let's move on to explain uh how it works and why i built it here is how uh, beef works so the first thing is to register or login and once you are on the web app you, you can post a new post you can upload a picture for example let's, let's upload this one and this one Let's imagine that I'm, I'm trying to post one of them to Instagram and I'm not sure which one to post. So let's choose which one looks better on the title. You can choose a, a category, it's required, but you can leave the description blank. Uh, there are two types of posts, there is a public posts and private. Public is basically visible to everyone and private is visible only to users who joined the the app and one more feature is biased posts so if it's biased it means that uh, the user can see how many votes on the post but if it's not biased uh, users won't be able to see how many votes they they will they will be able to see once they they vote so let's leave that turned off and let's post new post so the images are hosted on Cloudinary, and it's a cloud provider uh, which is using AWS uh, under the hood. Excuse me. <coughs> so once our post is live, people can vote or comment and it's really fast and it's working great. Uh, you can even vote for your own post if you want. You can delete posts or edit the posts if you want. So let's delete the post. Uh, you can also edit your profile and change the avatar, etc. So let's talk about the tech stack I used. So, so there are there are three apps here. There is the landing page. Let's go over there. Yeah, so there is the landing page. It's uh, a Gitsby uh, website, and I will open source all the code so that you can navigate around and see everything by yourself. So this is the landing page. It takes you to the web app, which is a React app. I used the CreateRx app to build this which is getting data from an API built with the uh, XPSGS and MongoDB as a database. Uh, the, both the, the landing page and the web app are hosted on Netlify for free and uh, the API is hosted on DigitalOcean. It's not dockerized, I, I do everything manually. Uh, the prototype was built with the Angular uh, Four, I guess, or five. It's it's been two years. So, 
I use Trello to to track my my tasks and I used both the Scrum methodology and uh, the Lean method called uh, Kanban. I removed the the board because it's not useful anymore. And why I'm shutting it down because there are only 55 users joined and it's not really profitable and uh, it, it's not even active. So for example, this post was posted four months ago. So I think I decided to, to shut it down because nobody is using it. So before I end this quick recording, uh, I will answer two main questions. The first one is how did I manage to build this in less than 24 hours? So to answer that, I'd like to show you my boilerplates uh, on my GitHub account. I have many boilerplates and each one is useful to kickstart your project uh, very fast. And I use the uh, Gitsby landing page boilerplate and uh, my custom CreateRect app boilerplate and both needs to be updated and the styled one is basically uh, an express REST API it has already some models and authentication uh, setup the only thing authentication needs is email verification and resetting password and uh, the second question is what's next so I decided to build Ploy, which is my first SaaS platform, and SaaS stands for uh, Software as a Service. I can't disclose more about the idea, but I already started uh, wireframes and the, uh, the overall architecture of the app. I, do, I will be using two tech stacks, and I will launch it on, on the, using the main stack, but I will move on to another new tech stack I'm currently learning. 